lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to look at something a little bit different. Our friends at gmcrafts.co.uk have sent me some of their amazing pre-weeded HTV transfers. These are so, so lovely. They've sent me a selection of their glitter ones. So I thought we'd have a quick look on the website and then we'll look at how we use them. But they are lovely. So you can see that they've got a whole range of different types here. There's food, there's mermaid, there's festive, there's animals, there's unicorns. Let's just have a quick look at the unicorns. Now, not all of these are going to be to everyone's taste. There's some that I love, there's some that I wouldn't order. You're not always going to please everybody all of the time, but there is enough selection with these pre-cut and pre-weeded transfers that there's going to be items that appeal to everyone. I love these unicorns. I think they are so, so beautiful. I just love the faces on them. I like these kind of realistic ones as well, this one on the rainbow. I just think they're lovely. Lastly, I just wanted to show you the festive ones. So you'll be able to get these ordered and uh, sent out to you as soon as possible so that if you want to do some of these for Christmas, you've still got the opportunity to. There's some really lovely ones. I love that snowman. He is so sweet. So I just wanted to click on one to show you a few of the options you've got. So the first thing is you can change the size. So the sheet will always be the same, but the size in terms of the image is different. So you can have size one which gives you six pre-cut and pre-weeded iron-on transfers. Size two gives you four on a sheet and you can see the exact measurements of the image. Size three gives you two on a sheet and size four gives you one on a sheet. You can also choose between matte and glitter. And you can also see that it's part of the multi-buy discount. So the more you buy, the cheaper each individual sheet is going to be. So I just wanted to show you some of the ones that they've sent me so you can really see the differences in the sizes and you can see the differences between the matte and the glitter. So I just wanted to show you the ones that they've sent me so you can see the differences in them really. So these are the full sheet ones, so the one size ones. Then we've got the ones with two on them. And then we've got the one with four on them. I've also got the glitter ones. So each pack comes with your design sheet. It comes with a application tape, so a HTV application tape, which I'm gonna show you how to use. And it also comes with a very detailed instruction leaflet, which is actually fantastic. I have to say that I'm actually really excited they've sent me this one because it saved me a huge layering job. Uh, so I am making for Christmas a, um, kind of treasure box of goodies and outfits uh, for a little girl and it's all unicorn themed and I've got a denim jacket that I was going to decorate with a beautiful layered unicorn. Now I've got this absolutely stunning, really glittery, shimmery, bright, pre-weeded, pre-cut unicorn that I can just put straight onto the jacket so it saved me a huge job. The other thing that I really like about this is you're not just getting the image, you're getting these kind of little accents around the sheet as well. So I like that because there's just a few little extras that you can add into the design. So the first thing we want to do is peel away the excess material and it clearly says peel here so we are going to follow the very clear instructions. So we've then got our iron-on transfer tapes. So we're going to peel it back and you get one of these in each of the design packets. We're then going to bring our HTV application tape over and we're just going to place it over our design. We can then go in with our scraper and give that a really good scrape. We're then going to come in with our scissors and we're just going to cut around 
the bits that we want or don't want to use. So if you didn't want to use these today, for example, you can just keep them in a folder for another time. And we can then pull away the HTV backing sheet and it will, or it should, stay on to the HTV transfer sheet. You may need to help it a little bit. So that is now ready to transfer directly on to your item. So I've got my denim jacket here and I've got my easy press set to 160 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds and I'm just going to come in and preheat my jacket first. If you want to go in with a Teflon or silicone sheet I'm going to use my Cricut heat protection sheet today and we're then pressing at 160 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds and you want to exert a medium amount of pressure so you don't want to over press but just put both hands on your easy press and just lightly press down now it is a warm peel but as we know the easy press can get very hot so we're just going to leave that to cool down for about 10 to 15 seconds and then come in and just peel away our HTV transfer sheet and there you go how simple and easy is that so we've also got our other pieces so I'm just going to come in and cut those individually I'm just going to remove the backing again you may need to help it slightly once again you can place your Teflon your silicone or your heat protective sheet over and again 160 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds with just a medium amount of pressure. Again you want to leave that to cool for about 15 seconds. Then we can just come in and we can just peel away. As always I then like to turn my material over. And we're just going to heat the back of our material for the same heat at the same time and it will just to really really help that HTV design to really adhere to our material. There we go, we've got a nice quick Christmas present. We haven't had to do all that layering, we haven't had to cut out and it's all beautiful and glittery. So yeah, something really special, something really different and just nice and quick and easy to work with. So I just wanted to show you the unofficial, uh, non kind of GM crafts approved way of doing this. So this is the Gen Gen method. This is the way that I would do it. So I'm going to peel exactly as it told me to do. Now I am not going to use the HTV transfer tape. I just don't see the need to. So we're going to use our top center. So we're just going to turn our sheet over and we're just going to start gently peeling back. I can then place him where I want to place him. If I want to add some of the other designs, I can just turn the sheet over and I can just again gently come in and peel them off. I've decided I want to put him on a wooden block. So I've got a wooden block here. It's got no stain, no nothing on it. It's completely clear. And look, just to show you, I've decided I'm not going to use my Tristan's tree, so I'm just going to place it back on the original sheet. So this time I've got my Easy Press set to 160 degrees Celsius for 20 seconds. Because it's going on wood, we're going to want to increase the time slightly, and you are going to want to apply a medium amount of pressure. You want to give that about 15 seconds just to cool itself down and also it will allow it to really kind of glue to the wood. You then want to place your protective sheet back over 
and again we're going in at 160 degrees celsius for 20 seconds and that's just to really make sure that it's nice and adhered to that wood block.